getting butter. It just turned into you butter, made butter, guys. Oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> My fellow soulmates and food lovers and welcome to another episode of Eileen's Kitchen Stories. Yes, we are in June, but there is one typical Swedish dish that I definitely want to show you and it's called the Flying Jacob. It is a bit, I would say, interesting because it has chicken and it has peanuts, it has bananas and I think for that we would need someone that has an absolute idea on what we need to do. Do we have someone Swedish in this house? Hello! <laughs> Hello guys, this, this is Oscar. Hello. And uh, he's, as you can see, pretty typical Swedish and he's dressed up in a Swedish trico as well. This is so cool. <laughs> yes. Welcome and I hope you're going to show us how to make the Flying Jacob. I will try. You will try. <laughs> it's not a really hard dish to make. For me it's uh, comfort food. If you look at this like Scandinavian cuisine, it's mm -hmm. not the most beautiful dish, <laughs> but it's definitely one of the most tastiest. Yeah, it's good uh, hangover food, we would say. So perfect for you because you went uh, party next today. Yes. <laughs> so, how do you say that in Swedish? Flygande Jakob. Flygande Jakob. Yes. Flygande Jakob. Okay, why don't you just check out the ingredients and then we'll see you in a second and start cooking. Okay guys, so Oscar now changed into his beautiful apron so we can start right in making this lovely food. What do we need to do first? We're gonna start with the, the main ingredient, mm -hmm. which is the chicken. The chicken! And oh. um, so we're gonna build a bottom layer of the flygande Jakob with some chicken and some banana. I've never done like a warm dish with bananas. So this is cool, this is the first time for this me is, as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a very weird dish but we'll... Make it happen. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and take and rip the chicken apart. I think it's okay. safer if you do that because otherwise we end up with a lot of bones in there. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just bought a rotisserie chicken. If you don't have a roast chicken, I think you can use a um, fresh one, right? And then just cook it before you put it into the pan. Yeah, the tastiest thing to do is uh, using roast chicken. Yeah, so the good thing is, in, especially in Berlin, we have these donor stores and you can get rotisserie chicken very easily. Do you have lots of these kinds of stores as well? Like No, actually not. We have like a lot of pizzerias, similar you can get like kebab. Okay. If you want to get a roast chicken like this you have to go to the normal supermarket. All right, this looks... Uh, looks good, doesn't looks, it? Looks done. Lucky you, I'm still fighting with the chicken right here. I'm sorry, Speed this is gonna take... Now. Yeah, probably. It, I was so faster. <laughs> you were so fast. Oh. I just Damn give it. you a little hand here. Oh, that's, that's beautiful, thank you. It doesn't hurt either to leave the skin in as well. I don't know if... That's super it, tasty, I think. That's like a personal thing that I like. And this is usually for like, how many people? Four? Or does it feed like two so, Oscars only? For me, the, this would feed one Oscar, <laughs> not me. The, the dish is designed to uh, feed like uh, middle class families in Sweden during the 70s. Okay, cool. It was actually this guy, he just sent in this recipe to a magazine. 1970 or something. To and a then, magazine? Yeah, to like a cooking magazine. Cool! And then everyone just started cooking it all of a sudden and now it's one of the most popular dishes in the Swedish family kitchen. You're living in Berlin now for quite a long time. Yes. What is kind of your favorite dish? Oof, I'm gonna be boring and say doner kebab. Doner kebab? <laughs> it's, it's the best food here in Berlin. And what do you, what do you miss <laughs> most? from Sweden? I just miss the traditional Swedish food, like all the potato dishes, the fried potato, the boiled potatoes, normal stuff that mom, mom used to cook, you know, when you yeah. grew up. Yeah, okay, now right. we're just gonna yeah, so put now the bananas just, on. <laughs> we just mix a little bit with the bananas and the chicken, and make a little nice um, ground layer. Now we've done the assembling of this beautiful pan, and what, what, what next? Yeah, so now we need to I guess fry some bacon <laughs> and then we're gonna do the, the funniest thing with this dish is the, the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mix with some spices and some chili sauce. This is a special chili sauce, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the Swedish Felix chili sauce. It's very mm. ketchupy with mm -hmm. a little spice in it. Mm. Okay, cool. So let's start frying the bacon, All shall right. we? Let's pour it in. Here we go. Shall oh. I, in the meantime, already whip the cream? What do you think? Yeah, we should get it whipped and ready. Once I, I wanted to be smart and I put the peanuts in together with the bacon. Uh -huh. So the, the peanuts were already roasted. Once I put it in the oven on top, they all burned, you know, they were completely black. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's getting butter. It just turned into you butter, made butter, guys. Oh my <laughs> lord. How did it, like, how? It's, Why? Uh, you went over this little uh, second. 
Damn it! Will you change the topic of this uh, cooking show to making butter? <laughs> <laughs> now it seems like we're done with the the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And the bacon is, is fried. Uh -huh. Now we make the funny mix. Go ahead, tell me. What do yes. I need to pop in here? So we're starting with chili sauce. Okay. And mixing it together with the, <laughs> with the cream. It's not in the main recipe to put curry together with the with the chili sauce. You just do it because it's way better. What does the original say? No curry uh, at all? Nothing? Yeah, this is actually it. You just mix the chili grede. Ah, like we say. What chili grede? Chili grede. Chili like grede. Chili whipped cream. Yes. Smell it. The smell of it is good chili. This is, it is chili? Uh, this is good a chili. curry. Curry, <laughs> So I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah, don't take too much. Ooh, 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 that's okay, yeah. that's okay. Okay. Alright, that should be good. We'll see. And do we need to add some salt and pepper as well? Mm, usually you don't have to, but we can see it. That's Very good. good. It's really good. good. Yeah. Okay, so no need of a salt. It's already pepper. quite salty because of the chili sauce. Now, All right. How so do now we assemble it? You actually just pour it over and spread like an even layer. I have this amazing spatula. Yeah, it's a great Pretend group. I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional Flugende the Jakob maker. It looks beautiful. It looks very good, actually. Okay, guys, so uh, right now the only thing that's missing is we need to top it with the peanuts and the bacon, I guess. Yes. So, what goes on first, or it doesn't matter? Just uh, whatever floats your boat. Oh. Oh, 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 no, we oh. can't waste bacon. Oh, oh. That is. He, he's spilling it. <laughs> oh my god. But this, this you is. You're doing uh, it on purpose. This is one for me. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> this actually feels quite African, like the whole thing. Definitely, yeah. Must they have be. an African vibe in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. Okay. So this goes in for uh, 20 minutes mm -hmm. in and 200 degrees. 200 degrees, there we go. And then we got our meal. Wow, guys, look at this. So let's plate it, let's see how it is. And um, we bought some rice in the meantime, because this is how you eat it, right? This is exactly how you eat it. It looks beautiful. It looks really good and so juicy. Yes. Oh my god. It's like... I'm looking forward right, to cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Mm. It's, yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure to, to gather everything as well. So you mm. get the crispy bacon, the banana piece, some chicken, and then you just uh, scoop in. I would have never expected a dish like that from Sweden, to be honest. And it doesn't taste like anything that I know. It's very creamy, peanutty, and banana-y. <laughs> banana-y is a good I one. couldn't have said it better. <laughs> On top you have the crunchy peanuts, this is so good. And then the saltiness of the bacon, Yeah. and then the sweetness of the banana. The thing with this meal is that um, you, you, you cook it for your family. So you're, for example, three kids and and two parents, and you just make a big flying Jacobs, and mm -hmm. you make this once a week. It's everyday food, and especially good if you have a hangover like Oscar. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Mm. This is this is um, my highlight of this day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank mm. you very much, Oscar. Thank, Thank you, too. you so much for being on my channel and showing me this. Yes. It was fun Thank to be you here. So much. <laughs> I hope you did like how we made this whole recipe, and it would be amazing to see you maybe in the next video which is possible if you subscribe to my channel. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it was cool and it made lots of fun. It would be amazing to see you in the next video, guys. Hey-do! Hey-do!